Dreamhouse Biodigesters. Thank you so much for joining us back again on this channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to replace a septic tank with a biodegradable waste biodigester. I've done other videos that shows the simple method of replacing biodigesters or bio or septic tanks with biodigesters. And this is just an updated version of such a video that I have done over the years. In this particular case, we are using this house as another test case to show you how we replace those who are having septic tanks with a better option, which is the biodegradable waste biodigesters. If you are new to the channel, it's a channel dedicated to those who are interested in how biodigesters work and how they are giving homeowners that needed peace of mind in terms of their waste management issue. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. You can also leave a comment at the end of this video. You can like it and then I'll urge you to stay to the end and see basically what is it that we are coming to do in this particular video. When we came here, we saw the septic tank is there and we saw that the pipes have also been laid around the house all the way into the septic tank. They've actually not reached the septic tank. They've been done at an end. We're hoping that in the future probably they will put it in whenever the homeowner is ready to use the facility. So when we were approached by the homeowner, we did an assessment and then we came to the conclusion that it's best we, we give it a whole new look. The land is not good, but then it's only at the, on the top surface. If you go two or three, four feet down, it's a bit rocky, it's a bit sandy, so obviously it's going to soak. It's only the top that doesn't soak. So the cool thing for us is that the pipes are up and we are going to try to match those pipes to the biodigester and then we will drop them into the biodigester and have the outlet into a soak hole. There's a reason why you need a soak away in this particular situation. I've done videos that shows why soak away is your best option. Traditional soak away is your best option when it comes to biodigesters. And in this house, that's exactly what we are doing. But we also are doing an add-on. We are giving it an option of a soak away inside the digester itself. That will give it that room. And then of course, the overflow goes into a traditional soak away. So that's exactly what this particular project is about. These are the top slabs, including the filtration system that we are going to use for the biodigester construction. Mm. Well, what we met here was four toilets, three in each of the rooms, and then there's a guest one that have all been connected and linked at the backyard there, hopefully to be dropped into the septic system, right? So we also realized that then if you are going to do a digester, should we do it at the last point? Or should we get a location for it so that all of them will come and then we don't have to keep on running pipes around the house just to give that homeowner at least some save him some cost and the amount of money that they are going to use when they are trying to replace a septic tank. Realign the pipes or redo them or have them relayed so that you can have enough room, gentle slope of course, or gentle gradient, and then you can have enough room for the inlet to the biodigester, and then you have that room that will let you operate, right? So in this case, we saw that the pipes are up. So the best thing is to do the digester at the back there and then do the soak hole, a soak away rather, do a soak away for it and do a simple soak away as well inside so that we can get enough leverage in the digester itself into the soak away itself that we are doing for this particular building. So what we are going to do is to send back the pipes that we have met at the last end into the back there and try and meet those other pipes as well and then all of them can go into the digester and then we can have a good job that will work well for this house. I mean, under normal circumstances, you don't need a large family size by digester for a three bedroom house. I've done in other videos and I've shown. It's because of the situation that you meet on site that will let you decide that, look, this is what is best for you. It's going to cost you a bit of money, but when you have this one done, then you know that you're leveraging, you are safe, and then you are in constant touch for this is that is good for your house the already constructed septic tank had water seeping back into it but when we did the digging we realized that the top sand that's a bit clay when you go a bit deeper you meet sand and stones that might work well in such a situation so we are going to do the standard soak away four by four we are going to do the large family size bio digester six by four and then we are going to create a soak away inside we are going to drop the pipes and we are doing the complete construction, including the pipes reconnection back 
into the new digester. Bio digesters have become the go-to human waste management technology right now, especially in Ghana here, because of the advantages that they have over other human waste management systems. What is happening with biodigesters is basically because the human waste get biodegraded and then there's a rapid separation of the human waste from the wastewater whenever it's flushed from in the house or from the WC in the house. You have that room to break down the feces through anaerobic digestion and of course have the water separated into a different place. That could be a so-called pit, it can be a drainage system or it can be a, a standard traditional soak away. All those things work. Unlike the septic tank whereby everything is all together and then you are forced to wait for a time. Hopefully that there's a soak away attached to it that will work or to have it dislodged by a truck. So the, the good thing, so the challenge with most homeowners right now is because the lands are usually waterlogged or it doesn't soak enough water. Whenever they do construct a septic tank, they do have problems of how to have it managed. And then it costs them a lot of money to have these septic tanks done and then obviously how to treat the waste. There are not enough treatment centers here in Accra, especially in other parts of the country. So when the biodigesters became prominent, and then everybody realized that they are working. Most homeowners now are advocating for it, are actually choosing it as an option in terms of how they treat their waste management. And that's where we came in.